here's what we know about the 2016 NOFA because of the registration notice that was released in early June. So we know that continuums of care are going to need to continue ranking their projects in two tiers. We know that there will be a bonus project, that reallocation will work in a very similar way as last year, and finally that uh, we, we know it has policy priorities are. So I've covered the policy priorities and reallocation in another video, but I just want to explain quickly what the bonus project is. So continuums of care will be able to apply for bonus funding that's equal to 5% of their final pro rata need. Uh, and there's two types of projects that they can apply for. So the first is permanent supportive housing for 100% chronically homeless households. The second is rapid rehousing for households living on the streets, fleeing domestic violence, or uh, leaving emergency shelters. So either of these project types, either permanent supportive housing or rapid rehousing, can be for individuals, families, or an accompanied youth. It's important to know that HUD said in the registration notice that only COCs that rank projects based on performance will be eligible for bonus funding. So it's very important that your COC has a performance-based ranking uh, process this year if you would like 